All right, now I'll show you how to uh, blend the dubbing. So what I like to do now is I like to take two pots and we'll take the dubbing, as I said, it's about a quarter of a mask uh, with both a good mixture of the hair from the ears and from the mask itself. You've got to have the soft stuff in there. So, and of course we put the ice dubbing in there. So we take the two halves, separate them. So what we do now is we'll take our dubbing mixer again and the reason for separating these two is now I'm going to make one light and one dark. So we're going to the lighter area stuff here now and let's bring back that big pot and we'll take some of this light. Okay, I think that will do us. Just get off the rest of that there. So we've got the light dubbing in there now. You can see, and then what we'll do is we'll go over to the next uh, stage. So we take half of the dubbing, put in the lighter stuff, and we'll give that a couple of blasts. Now, what we do next is, you can see the difference now between these two. So we'll take this out, put it back, try and get it all out on most of it, put it back into this one, and then we'll take the dark dubbing and from the centre of the mask, here, we'll take the uh, the dark hair, okay? I think that'll do us there as well. I we'll take that dark hair. Good. We'll take all the dark hair up in there and we'll give that a blast. The dark hair from the centre of the mask is also much spikier than the light hair at the sides. So it'll be a different type of dubbing altogether. So let's have a look. Now we can compare the colours. So if you can see that. One's considerably darker than the other. But what I do now is, once again, I take about half of the dark one. Now what I have is some absolutely run-of-the-mill cheap Antron dubbing. So I put some Antron dubbing in there. This will give it a little bit more coarse texture. this out and of course the dark antron will make it a bit darker a little bit more antron in there that's all we need for that very good so, now over to the light, hair's ear, half of that approximately in there, and light tan antron. We put this one in, that'll do us.
Very good. Take this out and exchange it for the other one. And a bit more light on running there. And into the hole. Now, let me show you what else I do here. Now I take some small pots. These are excellent for fly tying and they come from sushi takeaway. They normally have soy sauce up in them. So what I'll do here is I'll take six of these like so and I'll divide the dark uh, the dark hairs here into six of these pots, about the same in each six. So now I'll take this one and I'll add one, two, three four pinches of dark antrum. That's our first one done. So I carry on now and do the other six with less dark antrum each time and you'll see what the result is. So once we've done the dark Here's here, we take the light one and we do the same with that. We divide it first in half and then one, two, three, one, two, three. So we've got six of them. And you do the same with the light hairs here all the way through all six pots and then what I do is get one of these old empty boxes or you can buy these boxes empty and I fill them with the hairs here dubbing And then you have all the shades you need. And of course, like I said, you can put in uh, as much uh, ice dubbing or whatever you like to make it coarser, uh, finer, spikier. Absolutely great dubbing. And if, if you blend it yourself, you'll get absolutely what you need. Once you've established the colours and the uh, coarseness of the dubbing you want, then you can just pull it out. And apply it. So in the next video what I'll do is I'll show you how to uh, the different methods of applying hazier dubbing uh, for different applications. Thanks for watching.